Empowering women through storytelling. It's the goal of LunaFest. It's a film festival designed to enrich women's lives, and it's run by the Turning Point Shelter in Macomb County. Right now, LunaFest is a one-night event. It is set for one week from today. That is Thursday, April 27th. Karen bates Gazer is here now, the director of Turning Point Development. Karen, so good to have you with us. What a special event this is. I know the festival includes a series of short films kind of by, for, and about women, correct? Tell it, us about it. Exactly. So it is nine short films this year. They're all different genres. They're from different directors all over the world. Wow. Um, there's a call that goes out um, for women directors to submit films. And so it, they're all different. There's an animated film and they're just kind of all uplifting and empowering and they're very uh, women centric. All right, what I love about this, you know, when we talk about other film festivals, you know, it may be showing in different theaters and you have all these different times to see different movies. This is one place, one night, and you see nine films in an hour and a half. Is that right? That is correct. Yeah, absolutely. So, like I said, they're all different films. Some are four minutes long, some are 20 minutes long, but they cram in an hour and a half, nine films. Isn't that wonderful? And only one time showing. Tell us when that is. It is 7.30 next Thursday night. It's at the Historic Emerald Theater in Mount Clemens. Okay, wonderful. Talk about Turning Point now, because it's $20, I believe, 20? 20, 20 To correct. get in, so the price of admission to see the, uh, all these films together, nine of them. What does Turning Point do? I know you've been a fixture in the community and you do such really life-saving work. We do, um, and actually it's interesting because April is Sexual Assault Awareness yeah. Month and that is one of the reasons why we choose to hold this in April every year. So we, uh, we help women, well, men, women, and children, yeah. survivors of sexual assault or domestic violence, regain control of their lives, put the pieces back together, and become a, a functioning part of society again. We help them heal and, and become, you know, become whole again. Besides coming out to see the film festival and donating that way, there's always people looking to get involved in things and helping out. What can people do to help Turning Point? Well, there's lots of different ways to help Turning Point. You can volunteer your time, talent, and your funds. Those yeah. are always helpful. <laughs> always, always. Always helpful. Uh, and I would suggest going to our website because there's a ton of information on our website about different ways to become involved, whether it's doing a diaper drive for us or whether it's writing a check or coming out and, and working an event like LunaFest. All right, so so next Thursday night, 7.30, do you have a favorite? I assume you've seen the movies. Um, I have not seen them all. I've watched a couple of okay. them. It's a toss-up for me. There's one called Honey and the Bears about um, a swim group of, of geriatric ladies in Harlem. Oh. So it's 87-year-old women swimming I and performing. I think we saw some video of that. Awesome. Yeah. And then there's another one about um, women that were incarcerated becoming comics. Oh, really? And it's, it's really interesting. One lady says something to the effect of, I want people to remember me for what I'm doing now and what not what I did before. before. Right. Isn't that neat? All right. I think you can be, women will be empowered and inspired by these movies. Again, the film festival next Thursday night, 730 Emerald Theater in Mount Clemens, right? Correct. Check our website, WXYZ.com, for more information. Karen, thank you so much for being here as always. Thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, good luck with it.